Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and thanks for taking a little time out of your day to watch the video. Much appreciated. And like this title said today, I want to have a little bit of an off the wall video. Really talk a little bit about the coronavirus and how it's affected the sport of bass fishing and the industry in general. Sort of give you my thoughts on it and I'd be curious to hear your guys' feedback on it too. Sort of an interesting topic. And you know, one of the things that I remember starting out is when, when the uh, virus first started taking hold back in the uh, spring of 2020 and we had the first shutdown. I remember going to Table Rock Lake after that happened several weeks after that. And I remember going down to this one ramp at Table Rock that normally at that time of year, there's just nobody there during the week. You just never saw another boat and truck. And when I got there, like at 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning, I had to park out in the road. I couldn't, there was not even a parking spot left on the, in the parking lot itself. It was actually in the road. Uh, as a result of everybody just not being at work or things being shut down. And I thought that that would be a temporary thing. And guys, I'm telling you what, it has not stopped. I mean, it has been reduced a little bit, but the biggest impact that I've seen from coronavirus is how much pressure that our lakes have received over the past two years as a result of just more people fishing, more people either want to get away or they don't want to be around people or they've lost or, or they don't have their jobs or are they working at home? I'm not sure exactly what it is. I think it's a combination of factors, but in all of the 50 plus years that I've been fishing, I have never seen the lakes getting as much fishing pressure as they have the last two years. And it's been noticed. Don't think it hasn't because I can tell you, I don't, you guys may give me some feedback on this too, but in my part of the country here, um, in the Missouri Ozarks, I have noticed a considerable decline in the quality of the fishing over the past two years in our lakes around here. And that decline has been verified to me by the tournament weights being down too. Tournament weight weights the last two years have been down across the board. Um, it seems like it's just harder to get bit. I mean, in general, I mean, all year long. I know that you know, a lot of the jerkbait trips that, um, you know, I do for my on the water lessons, you know, five years ago, it was, it was common to go out, you know, depending upon, you know, every day is different, but it was common to go out and catch 30 to 50 bass a day on jerkbaits. And that number, <coughs> you know, I've seen that number, <coughs> excuse me, get cut in half, you know, over the past, specifically over the past couple of years, you know, fishing, you know, same type of conditions and that type of stuff, but it just seems like the fish have just gotten, they've gotten so much fishing pressure that they've reacted uh, and it's just gotten tough for fishing everywhere. I'd be curious to know what your guys' thoughts are on that as well, because I, I've noticed it. And like I said, you can look at all the tournament results. The tournament results around here in my part of the country, winning weights are down several pounds from what they normally are. And uh, I think that's one of the, the biggest downfalls as far as how the coronavirus has affected the sport of bass fishing is that simply, it simply our lakes should have just gotten covered up and pounded as a result. On the other hand of that, the coronavirus has, uh, it has created a boom within the fishing industry itself. The, I can't remember in all the years that I've been fishing that the tackle cells, boat motor cells are absolutely through the roof right now. You know, I know there's a certain element of it is the supply chain, but other than that, the numbers are just through the roof on the amount of fishing tackle that's getting sold. And that's because everybody's fishing. Everybody's fishing. Everybody wants to go fishing. And so as a residual, the increase in fishing pressure and the, the negative effect it's having on our lakes you know, as a result, you know, the uh, economy is being stimulated a lot within the fishing industry sector, you know, because of that. I don't think that you'd have seen, you know, the amount of dollars spent uh, the last two years on anything fishing related if it hadn't been for the virus with that. So I, you know, a lot of this moving forward is this depends on, you know, as far as basically how many people get vaccinated. The the reason that we're still dealing with this right now is that is you know some the people that aren't getting vaccinated those are the basically the you know 95 percent of the hospitalizations that we occur right now and until we can get everybody to get on board with those vaccinations uh you know i think that we're going to be seeing a result 
of the effect the coronavirus has on the sport of fishing. And um, one of the things about that, I've got a couple of friends that are nurses, and one of the things they say is that is a lot of the, most every patient anymore that dies of coronavirus is unvaccinated. So many of them, some of the last words they say before they die is they're on a ventilator, and they said, man, I wish I'd have got the shot. And they, they hear that over and over again. So um, I'm not here to tell anybody what to do, but um, I'd highly suggest everybody getting it before you wind up on the ventilator or somebody you know winds up on the ventilator and it passes because of it. So anyway, guys, just a few thoughts here uh, on the whole thing. Let me know what you guys think. I'd be curious to hear on that. Hope you guys are doing good and we'll talk to y'all later. See you.